All right, are we, are we ready? We're ready. All right, one, two, three. Oh my God, the, the day has, has finally, finally arrived. Um, the day um, when I am proposing uh, to you, Helena, uh, the love of my life, um, the woman that I met um, during a lockdown. No, we are in the open. Um, this is a location that you would have remember uh, that we came to um, some time when we didn't have anywhere to go. Um, and the only thing that we had was just to walk uh, behind Helen's and Rob house. And um, we would normally come in this, come in this bridge and uh, have some of the deepest conversation and some of the most amazing moments and looking at some of the most amazing views. And I'm super, super grateful today that I get to do this and I wouldn't rather do it with anyone else but yourself. Helena Nohagen. tale about you and I. Our story or not, a Disney story. It's a God story, which have been written in our time of existence before we were born. As I sat down to write about my vows to you, I can't help to think of the moment when we first started dating. We started on the basis of God. We have gone on this journey because of God and now we are here because of God you are the perfect gift from God to me and every perfect gift needs to be cherished and I will cherish you forever I've never met anybody who's as bold as you you are a man of faith and nothing else and you are not ashamed of it and you are a man Oh, who always encourages me to believe in myself. And next to you, I get bold, I get loud. I've never met anybody who stays like you do. I've known you to always be a man of your word. And you've stayed when there were only reasons to leave. You don't quit when things get hard. Psalms chapter 72, verse 18. It says, praise the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wonderful things. This is a wonderful thing, and it is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Amen, hallelujah. It is marvelous in our eyes. It's really important for you to take this day as God sees it. It is a fusion of families. It is a fusion of individuals. It is a fusion of destinies. It is a fusion of callings. Amen. It is something he decided before the foundation of the world. As, 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 as you walked in that day and it was like, this is the man of promise. God was saying, this is the fulfillment of my calling. The things that I have called you into. In Jeremiah, he says, before I formed thee, Helena, before I formed thee, Darren, in the womb, I knew thee. 
under the authority of Jesus and King Charles III, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, DJ. You may kiss your bride. And there was a huge group of us from YA and stuff. And all in separate things, you know what you do. You, no, one, no one's, it's not like this. Not everyone's listening to one story. And then DJ said to the small group of like four of us, went, oh, I've got a really funny story. And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then he went, oh, no, 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 no. He stopped every other group, gathered them round, and said, guys, you've got to hear this funny story. There were people we didn't know. There was someone who was new to church. And he literally was like, You've got to listen to this. To this stranger who's like, who are you? And then went on to tell, oh, it was so dull. It was so dull. And it went on and on and on. I won't tell it all because we wouldn't, we wouldn't leave. We would get kicked out before we had time. But it went on and on. And I remember it just ended with, he was talking about how there was someone who came up to him at church. And it ended with him waiting for the punchline. And he just went, and then she said, she saw Jesus in me. And then he literally went like this. He literally went, like, you know, react to that. That's a great story, right? And it's just, yeah. We stand here as an image of a God who restores and heals and a God who keeps his promise. Always. Darren, you are such a special man. You are peculiar in all your ways. I have never met anybody who talks so loud in the cinema while the movie's on and eats all the popcorn first, only to tell me that I'm a slow eater. I've never met anyone who dances the way you dance. You will all see later. But I've also never met anybody who serves people like you do. You fought so hard and you stand as an overcomer in front of me today. Everything that your struggles told you you couldn't do, everything that happened, you are standing here today telling them right back that nothing is too hard for God. And I am proud and honored to become your wife today. With you, I am strong. With you, I can dream. No one in this world is able to deal with me like the way you can. It's true. Need a lot of grace. Let's do this forever, bestie, and make hell mad.